Welcome to this video from In 28 Minutes. Thanks for helping us provide awesome learning experiences to more than 300,000 learners across multiple platforms, Udemy, Safari and Pact. Let's welcome our lead instructor, Ranga Rao Karanam. In this video, we would be talking about one of the most important characteristics of microservices called fault tolerance. One of the important things about microservices is the fact that they have to be extremely reliable. Why? Because in microservices architectures, we would be building a number of small microservices and there is a lot of communication happening between them. So let's say if microservice 5 is down, what would happen? All the other microservices are directly or indirectly dependent on microservice 5. So if microservice 5 is down, then all the other services are down. So it's imperative to have alternatives. So if there's a problem with microservice 5, it should not go down, but kind of give some alternative response so that you have high availability. This aspect of a microservice is called fault tolerance. One of the popular frameworks to implement fault tolerance is Hystrix. It's one of the Net Netflix open source frameworks. What Hystrix enables you to do is for each of your service methods, so for each of your service methods, you can say what is the fallback. So if this method throws an exception, then what should be the response that is returned back? So what would happen is if this specific method fails, if there is an error which happens in this specific method, this response is returned back. So let's execute this and see what's happening. If you look at this specific thing, when I execute fault tolerance example, and this is actually throwing an exception, I've directly made it to throw an exception. So when it throws an exception, what is happening? It's written 999 and 9. It's not, it's not, what it's doing is it's not throwing an exception and saying I'm giving an error response. What it's doing is it's going to the fallback method. It says, okay, if there is an exception here, by default, use these limits, 9.99 and 9. One of the things which would happen backside with the Hystrix thing is you can configure alerts. So as soon as you get five error responses, you can alert the admin teams saying, okay, this service is erroring out, do something to fix it. But the most important thing is whoever is using this service will get default values back. So you have the service not erroring out, but kind of providing an alternative. One of the most important things to recognize is the fact that if it's a business critical service, which is providing very important information, let's say it's sending back the balance of an account, you cannot use things like Hystrix. So fault tolerance is more for things, for information, which is not highly, highly sensitive. So for all those kind of things, you can make sure that you use Hystrix, cut, cut, cut. You can make sure that you can use Hystrix and implement fault tolerance and make your microservice be stable even in the face of a few simple errors. In this quick video, we talked about fault tolerance. Why should microservices be fault tolerance? What are the situations you would want to use fault tolerance? We talked about Hystrix, which is kind of one of the frameworks. We looked at an example with Hystrix and also we executed a sample service and saw how fault tolerance is at play. In 28 minutes is providing awesome learning experiences to 300,000 learners across platforms like Udemy, Safari Online and Pact. We have clogged million hours of learning in the last few months. The question is, what do you want to learn next? We are building solutions to help programmers at all levels. You can learn programming with our awesome courses on Java, Python, and JavaScript. You can learn full stack development with REST APIs and microservices with a wide range of frameworks like Spring Boot, Node.js, React, Angular, and Spring Cloud. We have 200 plus videos to help you start your journey from a programmer to a software architect. We have videos to help you learn frameworks, industry trends, including things like microservices, learn the best practices in architecture, design, and code quality. Thanks for watching. Keep learning in 28 minutes.